What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to or Sure. I'll have a salad. Watching your figure? Good for you, honey. Yeah, but we're out of salad. I know someone who could stand to eat more salad. Shut up, Dave. Bye. Any t Thank you. Sure, I'll carry your crap. That doesn't seem to work. None shall pass. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. Here's my ticket. Thank you. I'll take the tickets for your friends while you're here. Saves time so you can live long and proper. Ah, uh, prosper. Do you need some cosplay advice? Oh, hi, Dolores. What brings you back to Thimbleweed Park? I need you to read Uncle Chuck's will. Chuck never paid me to read his will. My fee was $15,000, and I didn't see a cent of that money. I'm sure he must have paid you. It's not like Uncle Chuck to forget something like that. Unless I see proof, I won't believe it. How else can I help you, Dolores? Bye. See you later, Dolores. A dime a dozen. It's the stub of a check that was made out to an attorney. That doesn't seem to work. What good is a check stub? It doesn't prove anything. I'd need the actual canceled check as proof. Hi. Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D &D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. I also have a rare and priceless hint guide to a forgotten text adventure called Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2. I have a level 7 wizard. Doug's a good D&D DM. Okay. I love Star Trek. I want to live on the Enterprise. Okay. Uh, how much are the hint guides? The Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2 hint guide is priceless. Just sell your soul and I'll give one to you. It even contains a secret word that will crash your computer due to a bug in the code not caught by the testers. Good testers are hard to find, but worth every penny. Goodbye. Ah, I can't believe I got over again. What did I do to deserve this treatment? All I wanted to do was entertain people and make them laugh at the stupidity of stupid people. I feel like there's a lesson in all of this. But f you! I'm Ransom the f Clown! It's all that f Franklin's fault. He was gonna talk to Chuck about putting my new high tech Ransom the Clown license dolls into production at the old pillow factory. Then he flaked out. He's probably in Mexico skinny dipping with my f ex wife. Okay, I need to break into that. F Pillow Factory and see if my prototype Ransom the Clown doll is still in there. My comeback depends on it. You! Hey, wife!
Look at my first edition comic book of me. It's got to be worth a fortune. Wow. A first edition Ransom the Clown comic? After his total meltdown, that's become a collector's item. You almost look like him. Except your costume is pretty crappy. I'll trade you the priceless Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2 hint guide for it. What a ripoff. I don't want to talk to them. Starships in bottles, handmade. What's a grown man doing in a space costume? You, sir, are in the wrong place to ask such a question. I will not listen to such comments, sir. Goodbye. You will not find better starships in a bottle than these. It's a bunch of boxes and lines. Game. I have nothing to say to a game nerd. The developers will get upset if I do more than look at this. He's Cory! And? He's Cory! And not to be a rude ransom, but we're trying to get into character for the look-alike contest. Yeah, so? Get out of here! <laughs> Good one, Cory! For a moment, I thought you were Ransom the Clown! Amateurs. Wow! No need to start swearing. And get a better costume! It's like you're not even trying! Ooh, burn! Ready to face my adoring public and win this contest already. Thank you all for coming to witness the Ransom Lookalike Contest. We've got a great crowd here tonight. What is he, blind? Huh, <laughs> stinks in here. Guess, well, it looks like we've got some great entries and some not so great entries, but I'll be the judge of that. That's right, I'll be judging the contestants as they try to make us laugh. First up, we have Corey. Ooh, that's some cape you've got on there, kid. I bet your mom made it with love. I hope there's a Batman look-alike contest for you soon. You definitely win. <laughs> so convincing. You've gotta be kidding. That wasn't an insult. It was a crappy compliment. I don't like hats. Is that the only fact you know about me? Who are you? Why do I bother? You're all poo poo heads. Just like Winnie the Pooh, you're sweet as a honeypot. No way. You're all a bunch of inbred freaks. Don't try to deny it, because I've seen the sheriff, the coroner, and the hotel manager. The sheriff, coroner, and hotel manager are all distinct people and awesome in their own right. You should be thanking them for keeping the town running. You guys love that pillow factory. It's the lamest claim to fame a town has ever had. The pillow factory closed down 10 years ago. Get off stage! Thimbleweed Park is full of snobs. You're so fancy here that the bums give money to tourists so they can buy some better clothes. No one's giving any bums money. They live off scraps like the rest of us. Bunch of ingrates. Sounds like someone has to update their jokes. Now we have our final contestant, Corey. It's beep for sake. 
not bloop. Don't be mean. I hold you all ransom with my jokes. Clever. <laughs> ransom, ransom, so smart. You're all silly billies, but you're still lovable. Oh, f kill me now. Mm, this won't take long to decide the winner. In first place is, obviously, Corey. Oh my, thank you. Corey wins a licensing deal with Mega Mega Toy Company. I'm going to make a cute fuzzy dog. But you can just walk into any toy store and buy that already. Second place is Corey. Of course it well is. Totally rigged. How can anyone compete with Corey? It's a pleasure to come second to his first. You've won a gift card for facial reconstruction surgery. How exciting! Just like my hero, Michael Jackson. Which leaves third and last place to... What was your name, anyway? It's Ransom, you idiot! Oh, your name is Ransom, too? That's an odd coincidence. Pity your act wasn't very convincing. Ugh. Ugh. So third place goes to the poorly named Ransom. You win an easy listening theremin record by Psykin. Congratulations to those who put some effort in. I have nothing to say to a game nerd. Starships in bot. How do you make the starship so small? I use the same tools as jewelry and watch repairers do. They allow me to carefully place each photon torpedo. Place the faux dumb torpedo up your I will not listen to such comments, sir. Goodbye. You will not find better starships in a bottle than these. I don't want to talk to him. Do you need some cosplay advice? Oh. It's you. Beep off. Is this what you have to do to make money these days? Go away. I quit, so I don't need to deal with you anymore. I can't imagine a game nerd would have anything I want. Starships in... Can I mind your stand while you get me your tools? You'd need to know a lot about Star Trek to be able to man my booth. Did you know that on Impulse Drive, it would take 400,000 years for the Enterprise to cross the galaxy? Or that the Galaxy-class Enterprise is 353.5 meters longer than the Constitution-class Enterprise? So you see, it's perfectly obvious that I can't possibly leave my stand to an ignoramus like you. But if you got me dinner, then maybe I could do something for you. Would you like this hamburger? Thanks. That's exactly what I wanted. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. I... Uh, 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 I have to go to my room. Shut up in there! An island for monkeys? What if they run out of bananas? The doors are closed. Sounds like someone's being sick in there. 
I don't want to see that. The elevator isn't on this floor. Huh, that's better. Now to get back to work. The elevator isn't responding. Someone must have locked its use. Willie, here are the tools you wanted. Ah, oh, thanks. Nice tools. I need to get into the factory to get my... I can't turn it off. The knob's missing, and the radio's bolted to the cabinet. The sheriff left it on as a form of torch. Oh, let's get the clown to climb the ladder. The circus freak will climb the ladder. All this climbing just to solve a puzzle. For making me do this. Now I better get out of here fast. What happened? We're off the air. Just as we feared, the government sabotaged the tower. I'm not going in. I'm, I'm not going in there. They did a whole half. Here, you're not carrying enough. We got a confession. You're swinging, murder boy. Got to go, murder. Get back. Uh, 
I'm innocent. Can you fix this watch? If you fix the watch, I promise I'll prove your innocence. Here's my watch for you to fix. Hey, you have that great theremin music playing. Okay, hand it over. Okay, your watch is fixed. Here you go. It's... Ugh, what is that awful noise? The feds must be trying to brainwash me. How'd this get here? Okay, all back to normal again. It's my father's old pocket watch. Good as new. Hello, I will wait until he's done. Are, are, are you coming on to me? These obscene folk calls are getting annoying. What are you doing here, Mr. Clown? This is a stick-up. Give me all your money and unmarked bills. And you'll threaten us with what? A water pistol? Your balloon? Jeez, Ed, the only stick-up around here is the one up your... Mr. Clown, your jokes weren't funny on The Tonight Show, and they certainly aren't funny in my bank. I want to apply for a business loan. If this is about those awful clown dolls, Mr. Clown, then we've already been through this. The answer is no. I got other ideas. Ransom the Clown beepers. It's the only beeper that tells you to go yourself. An amusing novelty, but again, it's a no. Well, f*** you, that... Why do you hate my doll idea? I don't think it's your worst idea, but I think you are overestimating your celebrity, Mr. Clown. You have no collateral, and your credit rating is shot to hell since you filed for bankruptcy. In short, you're too high risk for a business loan. Oh! Well, your mom is a high risk, you son of a... How can I improve my credit? There's gotta be some palm I can grease or some ass I can kiss. Seriously, who do I have to to get a loan around here? We're way beyond that, Mr. Clown. The only way you will get those dolls made is if you find yourself a wealthy investor. Goodbye, Mr. Face. Don't rush back. Nothing in there but charred trash. Pizza! Hey, Ransom, you want a free pizza coupon? Wink, wink. I'll take a coupon, as long as I can shove it up your ass. Hey, not cool, man. Let me tell you a joke. Okay, sure. What's the difference between you and a sausage pizza? Hmm... You can't tuna fish. What? No! Wrong joke, cheesehead. You are so... Dumb, sometimes I'm almost at a loss for words. F you! Hey, Ransom. Wink, wink. Let's try the joke again. Okay. What's the difference between you and a sausage pizza? They don't meet the koalifications. Huh? Wow. Handing out leaflets is actually challenging work for you, isn't it, face? Well, it does get pretty hot in the suit. 
Let's try the joke one last time. And this time, don't try to guess the punchline, you dumb... Okay. What's the difference between you and a sausage pizza? I don't know. You don't need a microscope to see the sausage and the pizza. Ransom, you are such a freaking jerk. Why did you always have to take it too far, huh? This is why you have no friends. Oh, I'd love to talk to him, but I'm too shy. The developers will get upset if I do more than look. Hello, safely first savings. Your money is in our hands. Are, are, are you coming on to me? I need to keep them on long enough to trace the call. Yes, how can I help you, Miss Edmund? Can you help me with this check stub? Oh, yes, this handwriting brings back a flood of memories. Too bad about Mr. Edmund. He was such a wonderful man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, how can I help you? I need a copy of the check that goes with this stub. Yes, I believe I kept all of Mr. Edmund's cancelled checks right here. Here it is. Thank you. Hello, safely first. It's a copy of the check that Chuck wrote to his. I have a canceled check for you. It clearly says that you were paid by Uncle Chuck to read the will. That it does. My apologies. I'll go to the Mansion Mansion right away. I see we are all here now. Excellent. Before we can proceed with the reading of the will, Chuck Edmund has three stipulations. One. Thimbleberry pie must be served to all present. Two, the reading of the will must take place in Chuck's opulent tomb. Three, crack the encryption on this will. Let me see that. Oh, it's all ones and zeros, Dolores. You figure it out. It is all ones and zeros. Clearly, it's in binary. Uncle Chuck was being clever. Maybe too clever. 